His first time in Falkreath, the Dragonborn heard a rather disturbing tale of a man who tore a girl limb from limb. Wondering why anyone would do such a thoughtless, needless and horrible thing, Hicks and Pooks entered the Falkreath barracks, hoping to speak to the man responsible. To the jail he went, where the murderer awaited. He searched the cells, examined the desk because he was a curious little sort. But then he found his man, and the man waded towards him. Come to gawk at the monster. I hear you attacked a little girl. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believed me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. What ring? This is the ring of person. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to, but I'll never know. Persing didn't care for my taking it, and threw a curse on it. I put it on, and the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times, like with the little girl. What kind of transformations? As someone who has been a member of the Companions Guild, I should know this, but still, I'm playing dumb. I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. A werewolf. It's my secret and my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. What will you do now? I've been looking for a way to appease Percy. There is a certain beast in these lands. Large, majestic. It's said that Percy will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness. Give him back the ring. While I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. I'll take the ring to her scene. Oh my. You would do this for me? Here, take it. I, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and let the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck. But you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. Picks and Pooks recognized her scene from his days in the Companions Guild, or rather just the Companions, as the Daedric Prince of the Hunt. Having been a werewolf before, and in fact having... Right. Having been a werewolf before, and... Oh, there we go. Having been a werewolf before, and in fact having killed a former companion himself, Pix and Pooks knew all too well how easy it was to fall victim to the bloodlust. In a way, he did this task for Syndig not just for the man himself, but to redeem Pix and Pooks' own demons on the matter. What was originally curiosity had now become a very personal quest. The beast, he knew, was not far away. 
Picks and Pooks, at this point, had travelled the lands of Skyrim time and time again. He knew how to track something, if he needed it. But more than anything, he knew how to pick mushrooms. The mushrooms were his friends. The mushrooms would never betray him. The beast grew closer. Stumbling up a hill, Hicks and Pooks bounded over a jutting of rock. He heard something in the distance. A cry he'd never heard before. He knew not to what it could have belonged. kept his eyes sharp. The creature terrified him. Was that it? Was this the great beast that needed to die? <coughs> he'd hoped it was, or else he'd feel like a bit of a prick. was indeed the beast that needed to die, and now, her scene appeared before him in animal form. Well met, Hunter. Are you her scene? I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker that your kind calls her scene. Will you remove the curse from this ring? I may consider it. But you must first do a service for my glory. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. He's done me no wrong. I won't kill him. There is no retribution in the hunt. It is not vengeance I seek, but the blood course of a living hunt. There are others who would gladly accept my favor. They will hunt him while you delay your choice. Picks and Pooks knew he had no choice. Hercene's words rang true. If he would not hunt this man, if he would not murder Syndig, someone else would. Picks and Pooks, at the very least, might do it mercifully. <laughs> 